Hey guys, I got a new tutorial for you. I am um, going to show you how to create audio reactive element 3D. So I got a few examples, I'm going to show you uh, them right now. Alright, that was the cube, now we got a ring. That was the ring, and we got a sphere next. Right, and finally we got a, a hilarious little thingy I thought. I uh, wanted to create, create a sphere, but instead I uh, found this uh, thing. <laughs> so uh, here's that uh, thingy. So as you may have noticed, it uh, all was uh, reactive to the audio. So I'm gonna recreate it here. I'm gonna copy these three layers. It's just the background and uh, the song and a little flare I uh, put on. So there's the flare. And first, we're gonna create the keyframes for the uh, sound layer. So what you're gonna search up is uh, bass and treble. So let's says uh, there it is, bass and treble. And you're gonna pump up the bass to like 50 and turn the treble all the way down. And then duplicate the layer so you get the bass really standing out. And press convert audio to keyframes. So there we have the audio, the audio to keyframes. And delete the bass and treble uh, already. Otherwise the sound is uh, ugly. So uh, delete the left channel and the right channel, so we're only going to look at the, both the channels. And when you press U and look at the slider values in the, in the graph editor, you can see all the points uh, varying from uh, height, height and uh, value. First we're going to create a solid with element, so put on element and put that on there. All right. So go into scene setup and I'm going to go with the primitives and take the sphere low and make it have a nice little bluish color like that. All right. So now we got this and if we go to group 1 particle replicator and particle count you can increase it to like 500 but you can't really see anything. And that's because the replicated shape is still at point. So if we put it at the sphere, you can see it's already a sphere. Or in a ring, you can see that it's in a ring. Not really good because it's still really up front. So let's push it back to like 640. And the scale of the particle should be 1 or something. That's uh, good. And now let's rotate the object a little bit so it's we can see better what it looks like so there it is a nice ring um, so what we're gonna do is make another solid call it the skill shape controller and search up slider control and put it on there so now we're gonna Go to element real quick, quick. go to uh, skill shape, turn the shape skill shape controller off. And if we increase it to like 50, you can see it becomes bigger. So that's what we want to do. Go to your slider value and so look for the lowest point. So it's right here. So that's about 10. And the highest will be around this point and that will be uh, around 80 so we're gonna choose 75 just uh, to be clear and alt click on the slider control uh, pick whip it to the slider the value of the audio amplitude and type in linear linear and the value will come from this one comma 10 
to 75 and the skill shape will be from 10 to I don't know like 14 so that's that so if we scrub through it now you can see where the audio amplitude is highest the slider control values will also be high so right here it will be 14 and right here it will be 10 or uh, around 10 uh, so now we're gonna pick with the skill shape to the uh, slider value so right now if we preview it real quick we already see the skill is uh, reacting to the sound so next we're gonna create those uh, these things this flow right here so um, alright what I forgot was add uh, a few more layers so it will be a thicker ring and make the layer offset to 0 0.02 or 0 0.01 doesn't really matter and increase the particle count so it's a thick layer uh, about 2000 will be fine and here you go it uh, still reacts perfectly to the audio so now we are uh, gonna create the uh, surface noise or the just the noise so position noise and set the amount to 50 so you can see what it does so it's a uh, creates these nice uh, flow things, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> so now we're going to duplicate the skill shape controller, rename it to the uh, position noise controller and press U and map these from 0 to about, let's take 40. Alright, so this one is still equipped to the skill shape controller and now we're gonna alt click on the position noise amount and pick with that to the slider control of the position noise. So now if we scrub through you can see it reacts to the uh, sound but it's still a bit bland, it doesn't move. So that's what we're gonna create now. Um, the movement is created with the evolution so just alt click and type in time times a hundred that's uh, is about right uh, but now it looks nice but in this one it's turning and it looks cool and the balls are a bit smaller so let's create that quickly um, go to element and set the size to 0 0.5 so they're smaller and increase the particle count about 4000 no, please note uh, if your computer is a bit slower it will take ages to render because of all the particles but yeah that's just uh, how it is so now we can uh, create a rotation so it's alt click on the x amount of the rotation and again time times uh, I think I used about 10 I think that looks nice it's not too quick not too slow just about right in my opinion so that's just the ring uh, the rest is pretty uh, straightforward just um, go to 3d grid and set these to 50 all of them that's what I used and there you have the the cube and for the cube it's nice to create a little Y rotation time times 5 or something otherwise you will only look at one uh, one surface uh, plane so right now it's you can see three faces at a time instead of two uh, so that was a nice little uh, add-on so if we go to the sphere you can see it instantly created these uh, weird string I uh, saw it. so that's nice and if you want to uh, make it uh, one big sphere you should um, turn down the skill shape so like if we go 
on the skill shape thingy, we can go times 0 0.2, and there we have the uh, sphere already. So just mess around with it till you get the, the look you want. Uh, I'm just gonna go with the ring because I think it looks pretty cool. Set these back to the normal size, and there we have the ring again. So that's pretty much how I do it. It's it could be pretty cool with an intro or something. I think I'm gonna use it uh, very soon. Uh, so be sure to mess around with it yourself and create some awesome effects. Good luck.